everyone what is good welcome back to the channel this is silver hyena and as you might have guessed um <coughs> we're finally getting to the arteza colored pencils and where did all these eraser crumbs come from i swear <sighs> anyways before we get started on this review i would like to mention that i am actually doing the whole video on my nice spiffy brand new phone so I am super excited about this and let me know what you think of the quality of the video I would love hearing what you guys have to say anyways um these are the Arteza colored pencils and yes this tin still absolutely disgusts me um, I refer you back to my Amazon unboxing video um, just a sec why did they have to put a snail on the tin? Oh my gosh, I usually love these beautiful tins like this. I really, really, really wanted to try Arteza colored pencils. And they had to ruin the tin by putting a snail on the front. <laughs> yeah, I am still... Bleh. This thing gives me the... Bleh. Like, I can appreciate the art for art's sake. It's the subject matter that I cannot stand. But, as some of you lovely viewers were kind enough to point out, I should just paint over it. Yep, there's going to be a video of that, so stick around. And make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a second of the action! Okay, I might be selling it a bit too hard right now, but anyways, let's take a look at these lovely colored pencils. Okay, so one of the first things you'll note is that in the tin lid, they give you a chart for light fastness. And it's one star is actually excellent, and then five star is not. <laughs> and is this... Okay. I thought that the lid was loose again. When I originally got this, it was loose. The lid, one of the pins in there was loose. But I fixed it. I thought. Anyway, so you've got your list of light fastness, and there really isn't a whole lot of one stars. But, you know what? I'm not going to worry about that right now. And then you've got your foam blanket thingy. I don't know what it is right now and I can't think of the word. Oh my gosh, and just just take it in. There is nothing quite like the scent of brand new colored pencils. I guess that's what this channel has come to. I'm huffing colored pencils. Now then the tray these come in, it is kind of flimsy. So while the tin itself isn't half bad, barring subject matter, the little, oh come on. Uh, the little trays are on the flimsy side. Now then this one's, eh. My tongue is flimsy too, I guess. Anyways, this set has 72. And you can get Arteza colored pencils. There's a 48 set. I think there's a 24, but I'm not certain about that. And I think that there are also a couple of bigger sets. I'll do some research that I probably should have done before filming this video, but I'll just stick the answers in somewhere in this general area. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, we have 72 colored pencils to swatch. We might want to get a move on. Okay, so I'm bringing this back. My Crayola Mixed Media sketchbook. Haven't used this on the channel in a while, so... And it holds color pencil okay, so I figured, hey, I'll just use that. 
I need to get, I, I've gotten some Arteza watercolor paper, but I need to get some other sketchbooks, like Arteza mixed media paper, Arteza marker paper, Arteza this paper, Arteza that paper, because I honestly don't have enough sketchbooks in my life. Alrighty then. Ah, let's open her up. Sorry, I gotta, I gotta keep it off. Hmm, maybe I don't. Or maybe I do. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing with my life? Anyways, I'm just gonna start them in the order that they're in. Just use some swatches. Oh, before we begin, here is a good look at the barrel. You've got the Arteza Expert. Ooh, that's fancy. And a nice silver band. You've got the name Noir. And you've also got the little rating on the barrel there. Here, let me find another one. Okay, this one, this sapphire yellow. Oh yeah, you've also got a letter and number code, and then the light fastness rating, silver band. Overall, the color pencil, they, they feel really nice. However, feeling really nice and actually working really nice, that's two different things, so let us begin. Well, it goes down on the paper really nice. Let's go in with this very beautiful amethyst purple. Amethyst. I've always loved that word. It's one of my favorite stones, actually. Amethyst. It just sounds mystical. Oh, 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 it's purple iris. I thought it was just plain old humdrum purple, but nope purple iris and that is actually a really nice color okay so I've only got 69 more of these to swatch and don't laugh so I'm gonna get to that and we are gonna speed up this process so uh, hold on to your butts Okay, swatches are done. I think that they came out pretty nice overall. These, one way I would describe these colored pencils thus far, they have a very, um, I want to say creamy texture to them. It was very nice putting them down on the paper. Now let me just grab this one, this beautiful purple iris. Time to do some blending because of course that's that is one of the real tests gotta make sure you can get that blend down so let's mix that purple iris with ooh fruit punch that sounds like fun I love the names that these color pencils have <laughs> Thank you. 
And yes, I am well aware I cannot draw a straight line. I really do like the way these color pencils are blending. What they look like when they go down on the paper, they're really nice. And you've still got that nice new color pencil smell. Okay, I'm going to grab a couple of other colors. I'm going to grab this, okay, they call it sapphire yellow. I will call it blinding yellow. Let's try another in a gradient here. Because as you well know on this channel, we love gradients. Okay, so far not half bad, but I want to try out another little something. I am going to see if I can make my own green. Often if you find yourself with a really limited number of pencils mixing your own colors on the paper well that might just happen to be your way to go of course no one said it would be an easy task Look at that, we're making progress. Okay, yeah, usually, of course, if I need green, I just like to pick green right out of the box. However, knowing how to blend your own colors on the paper is it's not a bad skill to have. In fact, it's actually really, really good. It's something I should probably practice a heck of a lot more often, too. But I'm lazy. Sometimes. Not all the time. Like, not today I'm not lazy. But, yeah, sometimes. Anyways, we have done some blending tests. We have done the swatches. Now I need to figure out what it is I want to draw for today's subject. <sighs> Give me a minute or 10.
Alrighty, so now that I've got my line art ready, what I'm gonna do here is just some color testing, color blends. I know, super exciting, but I have not drawn this character in a while, so I wanna make sure I get her done right. Oh boy, I'm trying to figure out where to put everything on my really, really small desk is no easy feat. So I want to try this burnt ochre. Okay, yeah, I think that'll be a good base color for her. Add a little bit of red in there. Not too much. I don't want to put in too much. This is, let's see, a garnet red. Even though it looks a lot more brown. Not that I'm complaining. Somebody is squeaking their brakes out there. Okay, and then this coca brown. That'll be useful for some of the really dark shadows, I think. Yeah, I think that's the garbage truck making all those squeaking noises. a nice pop off to everything okay yeah so definitely gonna use that for the base body color and then her jacket I don't have a pink color race and since I used the purple for the mane I used red for her coat although I usually describe her coat as being soft pink although when I was busy doing the sketch I wasn't thinking because I had recently decided that maybe she should have a, a green or something that doesn't really blend in with her mane there. And of course I completely forgot about that and just was on autopilot. So yeah, there we are. It probably would have been a lot easier if I remembered and made her the line art green and since the line art is red, I'm really not sure I want to try and force it to become green. So I'm just gonna go with her original color scheme. I mean, I can always try it again, but mostly this is just a test to see how good these color pencils work. That That's the main focus. At least that's what I keep telling myself. But maybe I will add a little red in there in some of the darker areas. I usually describe that coat as being a soft pink while her mane is a darker pink. But since I'm going to need some shadows on the jacket anyway, and I think that that red is pretty good. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so while I figure out the rest of these colors, I am just going to speed things up because I know just how thrilling this all is to you. Uh-oh, we have trouble in paradise. Arteza, what is this? First broken lead. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna try this again. Okay, hopefully this was just like a one-time fluke or something. I just wanted to start on her eyes and so I was getting my pencils ready and <sighs> you all know how I feel about broken leads on this channel and if you're new to the channel, um, first of all, welcome, second of all, broken leads are the freaking devil. Okay.
I've always described this character as having these beautiful, vivid, golden amber eyes, and I really, really, really want to bring that to life. And wow, I'm running out of room on my tiny desk. Okay, but one broken lead aside, so far I have loved the creamy texture of these pencils. Um, okay, two broken leads. You're killing me, Arteza, you're killing me. Sorry about that, I just kinda began to get focused and lost in my own little universe. But yeah, um, I actually really, really like using purples and blues along with, oh, there, there goes the squeaky garbage truck again. But I love using purple and blues along with blacks and grays. I just find that just like a, a simple flat gray, well, yeah, it gets the point across. Do you mind, garbage truck? I'm trying to film. Eh. Where was I? Oh, yes. Well, simple grays, yeah, that can get the point across. It's gray. It can also just be dull, lifeless, boring. What's the point? But, by adding a, a little bit of color in there, even if it's not at the forefront, you still see it, you still know what's there, it just adds a little extra something. And that little extra something, it can mean something different to everyone. Or it can mean absolutely nothing at all, and I'm just getting way too uh, philosophical and emotional over because that's what I do. I tend to overthink things chronically. Okay, so I think that that's good for the eyes for now. I'm more than likely going to go back and visit them later, but I just really wanted a, a good test to see how those colors worked. And now all my pencils are getting mixed up from where they used to be, but oh well. Now what am I going to work on next? Alright, so the first thing I'd like to point out is that on the tin, these colored pencils came in. Directly on the freaking tin! It says, break resistant. But as you will see throughout the duration of this illustration, this is sadly not the case. Honestly, these pencils kept breaking on me so much, I didn't bother filming all of it because I captured plenty of evidence to rest my case. Right, now that I've gotten that out of the way, I wanted to like these colored pencils. I wanted so badly to love them and adore them. After the countless positive reviews I had watched about these pencils, I was super psyched to finally try them out for myself. So, during the swatching phase, I was feeling pretty good. They went down on the paper nicely and have a wonderful creamy texture. 
The blendable bit that is also written on the tin is true. These colored pencils blend together beautifully. You know, when they're not busy breaking all over the freaking place. I mean, I could have even looked past the somewhat waxy texture because they do cost less overall than, say, Prismacolor, which also have a waxy finish and constantly break. As I have stated so many times that I probably sound like a broken record. However, given the approximately $40 price tag of these colored pencils, I was overall horrendously disappointed. The more I worked on this piece, honestly, the more and more unpleasant it just became to work on. Which is a shame because I wanted to like these colored pencils and I love this character. But these colored pencils were just breaking so dang much that my wrist was beginning to hurt after sharpening again and again and again. I took multiple breaks from the piece, ranting to anyone in the house that would listen to me. Eventually, I got to a point where I kind of rushed it just to get the video finished since I wasn't enjoying the experience. It just, no. Something that honestly breaks my little artist heart. I'd like to know, have any of you guys used these colored pencils before? Did I just get unlucky or are Arteza colored pencils just not that great? I really want to know. Should I give these pencils another shot? I was thinking about getting Arteza watercolor pencils to try out, but now I'm not so sure. Hey, again, if you've used Arteza watercolor pencils, let me know. If not, I'll probably still gamble and try them out anyway. Because I'm just a glutton for punishment that way, I guess. Alrighty, so here is the finished illustration, and well, overall, I like how it turned out. I kind of like the sketchy coloredness of it. While I was originally planning on doing several more layers, I just couldn't. Not with these color pencils. I mean, here, hang on a sec. Where is one? Of oh, yeah. I showed this one earlier, but look at how short this pencil is compared to one that was hardly even used. Look at this. That's all because the lead just kept breaking. I know, I know. I've ranted about it enough during the creation of this video, but I, it, it's, it's a very valid point. These color pencils... I believe that they were like 40 bucks. I'll need to double check that. The correct price will appear on the screen right about now. I probably should have checked before I began this rant, but I wasn't really thinking very clearly, so let us move on. The point is, 
for however much these colored pencils were, they should not have been breaking that much. And that I find a horrible disappointment because I was so looking forward to finally getting a set of these colored pencils, trying them out for myself. I had seen numerous good reviews about them, so I was super psyched. And yeah, quite frankly, they fell flat on their face if they had faces. So bottom line, these colored pencils, when you can actually get them down on the paper, they look fine. They look great. The, the, the color quality, it's better than Crayola or Crazy Art. However, these were breaking way too much. I mean, for expert colored pencils, they should not have been breaking as much as they were. Huge disappointment there. So, if I had to give them a numerical rating, I would say about a 3 out of 10, and I still think I'm being too generous. Would I recommend these colored pencils to you, my viewers, or anyone else? In good consciousness, I can't say that I do, not based on my first experience with them. Here's hoping that maybe I just got a bad batch and maybe one of the employees handled it the box way too roughly during shipping. I don't know. All I do know is that broken leads and color pencils, that is major pet peeve of mine. So as of right now, I would not recommend these colored pencils. And you might be wondering, well, Crayola color pencils, now then those were breaking a lot too, but you were still way more generous with them. Yeah, well, here's the thing. Crayola has a much, much smaller price tag. In between the price tag and how often these things were breaking, eh, no, just, just no. I, I would not recommend them at this point. However, if I ever get any sort of word that Arteza has changed their formula, if they've tried to improve, then I'd be willing to try them again. But up in, but right now, no. I am... My, my heart is broken because I have used other Arteza products and I loved them. But the color pencils, which I was super excited and curious about, they just... They're breaking my heart. They really are. Anyways, I hope that you found this video helpful in some way. If you did, please be sure to leave a like. Maybe even leave a little rip in the chat for my broken heart. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Right now, that is the number one way you can help this channel grow. With that being said, this is Silver Hyena signing off, and I guess it's better that I spend my money and test out these things so that you don't have to. Stay creative, everybody. Bye!